Hi guys, in Logic again, another quick video today. I'm going to show you how to do the fades, or if you can't get your fade tool working, how to switch it on, and also do the speed up and slow downs. So usually if I were to zoom into this lovely conga piece of audio here, if I head up to the top uh, left or right hand corners, my icon changes here. And this allows me to bring a fade in. As we can see, I can drag it across the whole piece of audio. This lets me do fade ins and fade outs. Make it far more dramatic. Now there's another way you can do it. If you press T and A, we can have the fade tool this way. And what we can do here is simply drag it along and it's going to allow us to add a fade in on our piece of audio. Uh, they behave ever so slightly differently just because they've not got that location tool. Uh, we've just pressed double T. We can now perform it exactly the same thing with this. We've just got those markers that have disappeared. If we go up to the top, we get a different icon to the fade tool, but we can get rid of it as well. Now, if for whatever reason, you're not seeing these when you go to the top corners, it's under preferences. So if we go logic preferences, general, under editing, uh, we've got fade tool click zones here that needs to be highlighted or they just simply don't appear. Now, the way we can do the startups and slowdowns is really simple. We need the inspector tool up. We press I to get the inspector tool. And where we've got our fade in and fade out, uh, we can actually change these. The, the menu here is not just for the timing. If we click where it says fade in, we can go to speed up. So we can do, oh, so we can do things like this. And equally, if we just drag a bit off the end there, we can change the fade out to a slow down. Those are just a couple of quick little tips inside Logic. I hope the video was helpful for you and I will see you guys on the next one.